Okay. I'm gonna make this video for the third time. I really gotta figure out how to write a script. Um, so, first thing, pick the table update. This was just requested. Uh, it is coming right shortly. Um, due to the whole virus bullshit going on right now, uh, where I work right now, they've got us on one week cycles. This is Saturday. I will be back to work on Monday and then I am off the following week, the entire week. Um, my picnic table that I was building last summer, I was building for the purpose of a homecoming parade. It worked perfect. Um, I got it finished two days before the parade, I believe. The night I finished it, it was uh, later on. Actually, I know I used this earlier during the day that I finished it. Uh, anyway, we ended up driving it later on in the evening, and I was reminded from some uh, authority figures that driving it at 3 a.m. may not have been the best idea ever. Goddamn, it was fun, though. Um, had it in the parade. Worked really well. Um... Had it around for probably a month and a half, something like that afterward. Loaded it down a couple times with myself and two to three other guys my size on it, plus a couple other people at the same time. It wasn't uncommon to see me and three to four other people riding around on it. It worked well. I uh, just started out with a rather inexpensive Poulon ride lawnmower. I think it was, uh, yeah, it's a 19 horse motor. So should give you an idea. Just a residential style hydrostat axle in it, not real heavy. And it was old. My parents have a lot of property. That's where I got the lawnmower from. They've got grass with it out there, like a lot of property. They have five acres. That was their primary form of cutting grass for about a five year period. Um, even now, I think it's still about an acre they typically cut with it. So that thing got a lot of use on it, and it still lasted me a lot longer than I expected before the axle finally got overheated enough times that it finally said, fuck you, I quit. And it did. Um, got this little John Deere now, heavier duty unit, uh, 265, I think is the number on the side. I just got it running yesterday. Seems to work good. Motor smokes. A touch when you load it down but uh, the hydrostat seems good and strong motor whatever just set of rings maybe I fix it maybe I say screw it and just drive it it's just a picnic table um, either way I originally built the picnic table for nothing considering it, well I guess it was a bit of metal but shit like maybe $25 $50 worth of metal for favors for some metal too so um the lawnmower and the picnic table itself were given to me things i would change the garden tractor tires when you would load it down the thing would get kind of speed wobble to it i guess even though you weren't going fast it was just because those garden tractor tires weren't made for that kind of uh, weight so I would have to add a lot of air in the tires to stop it from feeling like a loose, uh, wet noodle riding. I'm going to probably put it on passenger car tires or trailer tires and rims next time uh, when I rebuild it on the back end anyhow, being as um, that garden tractor has a standard five on four and a half lug pattern. I should be able to find something easy enough to put on instead that'll be a little more stable. Um, what was there? Oh, steering. Um, it does not have power steering. I'm surprised even when you see the following clip that I'll post of the picnic table and the garden tractor that I'm going to use for parts. Uh, the steering wheel looks like it's just sitting on the picnic table. That is the permanent location for the steering wheel. That's how I steer it. It is nice that when you're driving along, you can just sit there with your arm resting on it and it steers fairly nice. But I apparently like to overcomplicate everything. So I'm gonna try and put power steering on it. I was looking at the hydrostat. I don't see a pressurized line off that I can steal pressure from. When I get it all ripped apart, I'll find out. For now, if it has to be staying, staying manual steering, I'm happy enough with manual. Uh, yeah, covered that. 
Right now, I've been working on a log roller that I built for nothing. Uh, it's a loose term. I built it with a garden tractor that I got for $200 or $100, I don't know, three years ago, something like that. Um, knew nothing about it. I got really lucky. This thing's been working very well. So I've posted the videos on Facebook slowly. I'm going to put them all together eventually. Long story short, it's an articulating lawn roller, 100 pound propane tank I used for the roller itself that I filled with sand and I packed the sand. It, I'm guessing it weighs 600 pounds. It weighs like a goddamn stone. Fuck, it's dense. Um, and then I've actually got an aerator mounted on the back end, a spike aerator mounted on the back end on a three point hitch that's all homemade. Um, I'll make some videos. I'm quite proud of it. It's worked out well. It was breaking down quite often. It's still not perfect. But I really, right now, I have built it with everything I had just laying around. Quite happy with it. it hasn't really cost me a damn thing. Last thing would be, if anybody cares, my forklift is sitting right there. It's still not done. It's not getting done anytime soon. Uh, until all this virus bullshit is done over with and solved. That can sit right there. I don't need it that bad. It's fun. It's going to be cool. I'm going to be happy with it. I'm not going to half-ass it. Needs uh, two to $400 worth of hoses and fittings and stuff like that. And a bunch of fabrication yet. Meh. It ain't hurting nothing sitting there. Um, other than that, hopefully, in about two weeks' time, I'll have an update on the picnic table. Maybe even driving it around. Who the hell knows? Um, other than that, any questions? Just ask. picnic table as it sits right now the motor was used for my forklift other video uh, the axle I used for the build is still in there but it's toast that it, uh, myself and some friends and some pretty healthy girls riding on this thing a couple times but didn't like that uh, this little John Deere just got it running yesterday I got it for a bottle of whiskey um, the motor, 16 horse twin, and the hydrostatic axle are going to be used in this. Uh, I am off work, I guess in a week's time.